explosive new film, Flynn, Deliver the Truth, Whatever the Cost, exposes secrets behind the government's takedown of General Michael Flynn. Flynn knew what the intel world had been up to. He ordered the first audit of the use of contractors. This set off alarm bells. He told the truth. He was the most dangerous person for Donald Trump to hire. They had to get rid of Flynn. Flynn, Deliver the Truth, Whatever the Cost. Available now. Watch it today. Go to SalemNow.com. SalemNow.com. Now, more of your go-to for all things home. This is Home Answers Radio, presented by Lang Home Medical Equipment. Once again, here's Roger Piper. Your go-to for all things home. It's Home Answers Radio. Okay, it's all about your home. This is Home Answers, and I, I'm going to make you a little promise here. If you listen for the next few minutes, you're going to learn some things that you didn't know. It's all about your home. And one of the biggest things that people talk about when it comes to home improvement, kitchens and baths, right? When you're talking about remodeling, it always seems that's the number one thing to come up. Well, we have ourselves an expert. It's Ron Smith from Prestige Kitchen and Bath in Arlington Heights. Hey, Ron. Good morning. And you have been doing this for quite a while. So... You know just about everything that there is to know about kitchen and bath and remodeling because you've just experienced all of it, right? So you, uh, tell me a little bit about the business. How long have you been around? Well, actually, I've had my own business now for over 27 years. Um, started in this business back uh, over 41 years ago. Mm-hmm. But actually, I've had my own business for over 27 years. So, so you, you've seen it all, right? I've seen it all, and I wish I could say I've done it all, but there's always something to do. <laughs> all right. So if somebody is looking at doing a kitchen or bath remodel, give me a few things that they need to take into consideration. Let's say they've never done it before, mm-hmm. and they need to talk to people about doing it. What are some things that they should really look at when they're choosing somebody to do that project? Well, I think the first thing you need to do is you need to plan. Um, I think to have a, uh, a written type of, uh, I call it a, a process, is good to have. You, okay. know, you want to do a layout or have somebody do a layout. You want to have the pros and cons of why you're doing it. You want to have a budget set up. Um, you want to get to know your materials, how you want to use the kitchen, what is it going to be, is it going to be used for entertaining, is it basically for an empty nester that you just want to upgrade and, and give a different look? These are all things you have to take into consideration. Uh, remodeling a, a kitchen especially is a journey. It's mm-hmm. uh, not something you're going to do in a week. Yeah. Like you would see on HGTV, that doesn't happen. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't help you out a lot when you watch those and it's like instant transformation. Right. That's, not the, that's not reality, is it? Yeah, I want my job done in uh, seven minutes and I want it done now. Okay. What are some of the newer things that you're you're noticing in the industry? Let's say with like kitchens. We'll start there. What are some things that you're noticing that are different, that uh, are kind of trendy or, and going on right now? Well, there's a lot of different things happening. Countertops, for example, people are using uh, a lot of reclaimed wood. They're using more of uh, it rather than quartz. They're going to porcelains, which are a lot healthier. They're finding now in the quartz that mm-hmm. there's a large content of silica which can be dangerous to the installers. So okay. that's popular. Um, actually, believe it or not, they're actually going back to some of the more molded pieces as well. If you remember the old Corian, yep. well, now they're reconditioning that. They're making it a little bit easier, more user-friendly, and they're going back to those. Wow, that's interesting. What about baths? Um, baths, again, uh, you know, basically you're looking for something of a spa-like atmosphere, if you're going to go in and do this uh, for a higher scale, so more body jets, uh, bigger tubs, you know, a bigger area for, again, this is the important part, uh, makeup uh, mirrors, things like that, you know, makeup areas for the wives mm-hmm. and girlfriends. That's important. And um, basically they want it to be a spa-like setting. They want it to be like when you go to the, the you know, one of the uh, resorts in Vegas. That's what they want it to look like. Yeah. So those are the things that are kind of new and different going on with uh, kitchen and bath remodeling. You said it's real important to have a plan in your head Absolutely. before you meet with somebody. Absolutely. Is it better to go to a showroom, do you think, or have somebody come to you? You know, I, uh, 
I struggle with that sometimes, but I think the best thing to do is if I were going to do it, go to a showroom. You can kick the tires. You can look at the materials, the new products that we have. You can get a feel for the people that are there. You can talk to me. You can talk to the designers. And what I really feel is important, just as important as planning, is getting a person to hook up with, a designer that you feel comfortable with, Mm -hmm. that's going to answer your your questions. It's going to give you things to think about. I think that's the best thing in the world. You, this person's going to be with you sometimes for weeks and weeks. You've got to get that warm, fuzzy feeling when you're associating with them. Hmm. Okay. So you got to find somebody that you're comfortable with. Correct. All right. And we're talking with Ron Smith from Prestige Kitchen and Bath. We're talking about uh, kitchen and bath remodeling. What about budgets? When people are putting together budgets, uh, what is the best thing to really take a look at? I mean, uh Tell me how you work with homeowners when it comes to budgeting. Well, the first thing I'll ask is how long do you plan on staying in the home? If you're going to, st- some people in a standard answer I always get, well, five years. <laughs> yeah. Five years could turn into 10 years. And I've had some people there for 20 years that I've talked to later on. They decided to stay on. But how long you're staying is very important. Uh, second thing you want to talk about is, um, you know, are you doing something that's for you? Are you doing it for resale? You know, exactly where are you with this? Are you later in life or you're on a fixed budget? Are you, you know, new? You're having children? You know, all these are expenses that you have to look at. Mm -hmm. The one thing I do say is don't go cheap when it comes to products and it comes to labor because you'll always regret it. You know, I mean, we don't get into price wars with people. We're very, very transparent when it comes to pricing. Mm -hmm. We tell people, okay, this is probably what it's going to run you. We give you averages and we're very direct and upfront with them on that. Because, again, you know, right now, especially in this business environment, money is important, not only to uh, the people who have it, but to the people who are, you know, just trying to uh, scrape this together to do a project. Yeah, makes sense. So if you're looking at doing a project, you should you should uh, find somebody you trust, maybe Absolutely. kick the tires. And then on top of that, get it, get some kind of a plan put together, whether it's a formal plan, informal plan, and then find somebody that you trust and then move forward with that. Yeah, trust is so paramount in this business today. It is. It's everything. You know, I mean, you hear, you read stories about all these people that get ripped off for whatever reason. You know, you want to be careful. We've been over in our location now for over 15 years. I've been, I've lived in the Arlington Heights area for 41. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my customers I'll see at restaurants, I'll see on the street, and I better do a good job or I'm not going to, I'm not going to be living here long. (laughs) But that's important. Uh, Prestige Kitchen and Bath is in Arlington Heights. Correct. Do you do kitchen and bath remodelings in the immediate area or all over Chicagoland? What, what, what's the area where you do business? Well, we, want to, we try to make it into a 25-mile radius only because we want to be able to service our clients. Mm-hmm. You know, so if we go, we'll go as far you know, um, as Wakanda. We'll go as far northwest um, as Barrington, Lake Barrington as far east as uh, Northbrook and and Winnetka. But that's usually it because we want to make sure we can cover our customers and give them the kind of service they deserve. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been in business a long time. You can't do that if you're not doing some things right. Well, we try. Yeah. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you, Ron, what is the best way to do that? Uh, I would absolutely tell them to go to our website, which is prestigekitchenbath.com. We have uh, some videos in there, t- uh, customer uh, testimonials. We have uh, pictures and, you know, uh, you know, again, interviews with our of our clients and our designers. So you can get a good feel for what we do. It also shows you our products and tons of pictures of before and afters and things we do. Mm-hmm. So you can kick the tires with videos there. Oh, right man, there. for sure. Yeah. Because okay. that's really the important thing. You've got you to feel good. And then, of course, you can stop by. We're, we're open uh, – from uh, Monday through Friday from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon and Saturday from 10 o'clock to 2.30 also. Mm -hmm. All right. I I have to ask you this. You see a lot of advertising about the uh, bath in a day. You know, there's a lot of that going on, enormous amounts. Tell me about that. Is it uh, something that you think is a good idea? Is it something, you know, why does that exist and seems to be uh, popular? You know, I don't want to... I don't want to bash a competitor. Uh, Personally speaking, um, I've just had people who will come back to me after a few years and say, you know, I want to change this out. I'm going to do something a little bit different now, more in the traditional remodel of a bathroom. And there's nothing wrong with those. For for some people, those are great. Yeah. Um, I just think that if you're going to spend the kind of money 
for that particular process and application, when you finish it, you can spend a little bit more and do the whole bathroom. You know, but again, it, it, it's uh, you know that's why there's a, a McDonald's and a Burger King. Everybody's right. got your choice. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's it's real important when you're talking to somebody, uh, you know, to ask them what are what are the what ask them certain questions about the project. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're picking somebody, what are things beyond uh, you know the material and things like that that most people don't know? What is the one thing that you go? This is if no matter who you pick, this is the one thing that you have to check about. Well, you want to know the timeline of the customer first of all. You want okay. to know when they want. Well, what's their timeline to get the project finished? When do they want to begin this project? What are their, you know, what really do they want to see come to fruition out of this? You know, and how do they want to do it? But the one thing I will tell you about remodeling, and I say this to everybody out there. Uh, no remodeling project is without its little issues or problems. Everyone has it, mm-hmm. and it's the way the contractor handles it. So I tell people, are you prepared to have a little glitch here and there? Because it's going to happen, but be rest assured that you're going to have us there to get you over the little bumps in the road. Mm-hmm. And that's really important. A lot of people think it's, it's oh, you know, it's not a problem. It can be problems, because, yeah. especially on older homes. So realistic expectations. Absolutely. All right. And a little bit of patience. A lot of patients. <laughs> okay. It's, it's kind of a measure twice, saw once kind of a thing Absolutely. when it comes to remodeling. Absolutely. And you want to have a vision of what you want for the next five years, the next 10 years, correct? Correct. Yeah, you have to be very careful about that. Right. All right. Well, one of the things I will, I will inject with that is because our process is where the designers will go out, they'll hold their hands, they'll bring them to the showroom, and then we'll do a 3D rendering on big screen TVs mm-hmm. so they can actually see what their kitchen or bathroom will look like once the remodeling is done. So they have a real clear view of that. And I think that's really super important because then they can get the vision. Otherwise, I know me, unless I see something in front of me and actually can see it, I can't visualize it. Yeah, that makes lots of sense. Well, we've been speaking with uh, Ron Smith from Prestige Kitchen and Bath. He's on South Harlington Heights Road in Arlington Heights and Prestige Kitchen, Kitchen, Bath.com. Not kitchens and baths or S's. It's PrestigeKitchenBath.com. Give him a call. Check it out. He's an expert, and he can help you with kitchen and bath remodeling. This is Home Answers, and I'm Roger Piper on AM560, The Answer. Your go-to for all things home. It's Home Answers Radio. Three-star general Michael J. Flynn, head of the Pentagon Intelligence Agency, knew all the government's dirty secrets. He was one of the most respected generals in the military. Flynn knew what the intel world had been up to. He understood its funding. He ordered the first audit of the use of contractors. This set off alarm bells. The explosive new documentary, Flynn, deliver the truth, whatever the cost, and covers the facts behind this scandal. Flynn told the truth. He was the most dangerous person for Donald Trump to hire. I find out the worst enemy that I'm going to face in my life is right here in America. They took my assessment and they wanted me to change it. I was like, I'm not changing it. They had to get rid of Flynn. With in-depth interviews, archival footage, and never-before-seen personal records to the man behind the headlines. I just felt like I was drowning. Flynn. Deliver the truth, whatever the cost. Available now. Watch it today. Go to salemnow.com. salemnow.com.